Good morning, everybody. This will be a, a little shorter online devotional. It's been a couple weeks. Um, we're in Matthew 5, and I'm just going to look at um, three verses or so. Matthew 5, 17 through 20. Do not think I have come to abolish the law or the prophets. I have not come, I have not come to abolish them, but fulfill them. For truly I say to you, until heaven and earth pass away, not an iota, not a dot will pass from the law until it is accomplished. Therefore, whoever relaxes one of the least of the commandments and teaches others to do the same will be called least in the kingdom of God. Whoever does them and teaches them will be called great in the kingdom of heaven. For I tell you, unless your righteousness exceeds that of the scribes and Pharisees, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. A couple of quick thoughts here. Um, obviously, um, this was given by Jesus under the Old Covenant. Um, Jesus had not died, uh, risen from the dead, uh, shedding his blood for humanity at that point. Um, but there's kind of three pieces to this. The first piece is that the Law and the Prophets and everything that God has written in the Bible will happen. Uh, not an iota, not a dot will pass you know, until it is all accomplished. Um, the Bible is a massive book, uh, thousands and thousands of verses, and um, Jesus is reminding us that everything, the Law and the Prophets, the Psalms, all these things will be accomplished. So as you read your Bible and you see something that hasn't happened yet, Jesus says it will happen. He also then talks about how we, what we teach. And that we should teach the whole counsel of God. That's a phrase that's often used. Um, some folks will isolate a passage and try to make it say something that it doesn't say. Um, just that kind of a manipulation of a text and so on. So um, he also says that, you know, again, speaking to a Jewish audience, that uh, the commandments were given for a purpose. And if you're teaching them, you need to teach them correctly. And those who teach them correctly will be rewarded. Those who don't teach them correctly will be punished. And so we always have to be careful when we, when we teach the whole counsel of God. We make sure it is the whole counsel. And the last section, verse 20, uh, is again a reminder that we cannot earn our salvation. I tell you, unless your righteousness exceeds that of the scribes and Pharisees, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. Jesus is already reminding his readers of what we know in like Romans 3.23, all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Or Romans 3.20, by the keeping of the law, no one uh, will be saved. And so he says, even if you could like be the most righteous person possible, um, you're still going to come up short. And so uh, how do we enter the kingdom of heaven? Well, we obey the covenant, uh, which in our case is we recognize the final covenant, Jesus Christ who died on the cross, rose from the dead on the third day according to the scriptures, and through repentance and conversion, uh, we follow him uh, throughout our lifetime. And it's the work of Jesus that saves. And uh, it was the work of faith in the Old Testament. It's a work of faith in the New Testament as well. Uh, but now through the cross of Christ and our trusting in Him. So just a few thoughts on a, on a great passage. Uh, we will continue in the weeks ahead to walk through Matthew 5. Uh, Lord willing, we'll see some of you on uh, Sunday at 9.30 for our traditional service, and then again at 11 o'clock for our contemporary. Uh, God bless all of you, and have a great weekend. Bye now.